Would you choose your child's eye color? Or their hair color? Or how long it was and what texture it was? Or their height? Or their strength? Or their intelligence? <laughs> Introducing... A production from Miss Palopoli's 7th period, 7th grade science class. Or as we like to call it... A Palopoli production. What are chromosomes? Chromosomes are thread-like structures of nucleic acids and proteins found in the nucleus of most living cells carrying genetic information in the form of genes. Each chromosome contains deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, a double helix containing a linear sequence of genes coiled and recoiled around proteins, or histones. During cell division, each DNA strand is duplicated and the chromosomes condense to become visible as a distinct pair of chromatids joined at centromere, making them look like an X. Bacteria and viruses lack a nucleus and have a single cell chromosome without histones. In genetics, there are different traits, like physical traits. Here we have a woman, and here we have a man. Together they have a baby. Here's a beautiful baby girl. Notice how she looks more like her dad than she does her mom. This mom. means she has more of her physical appearance traits from her dad than her mom. The father and daughter look alike because they have the same skin color, about the same nose, about the same hair, and about the same face shape. There are also behavioral traits, like how a sheepdog has a good hearing instinct, or how a retriever has an instinct to fetch. There are also different types of genes. We call them dominant genes and recessive genes. The big B equals the dominant genes, while the little b equals the recessive genes. A couple wants to find out what color hair their child would have. They start by planning out their mother's genes. Both of her parents had brown hair, and since brown hair is dominant, she's going to have big B, big B. Then they plan out the father's genes. Since his mother had blonde hair and his father had brown hair, he's going to have big B, little b. When we match up the genes, the child will have a 100% chance of having brown hair. Since the dominant B overruled the recessive B, that means that they'll have brown hair no matter what. The child might also have a 50% chance of carrying the genes from both the blonde hair and the brown hair. Thank you for watching our intro into genetic engineering.